Hi, I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, and this is the place where we talk about macro and landscape photography, post-processing, equipment, behind the scenes, you name it, and we will chat about it. So if you didn't know, I have a new macro chat live show. I'd love to see you there. I'll put the link down below. On my first show, my official first show, I had a great question by William. He does a lot of macro photography and when he uses his flash, what happens is he'll take the shot and because light falls right after your subject the closer you get to it everything behind the subject turns black so if you've ever shot in flash and gotten really close up to your subject you'll notice that that will happen so what i told him is that you can try to fix that in different ways so i went into my succulent garden and i had fun using my macro ring light what I did was get close to the subject knowing that my light was going to fall off behind it and not get the background light enough or bright enough to be in the image. So let's go ahead and get out there and show you what I did. Okay, I'm in my backyard in my succulent garden. And it looks like a mess here, but when it comes to macro, it's not. It's very beautiful to photograph. Now, I'm using a flash here. I'm using the ring light that I showed, with, showed you guys earlier. And what I wanna share with you is how to get that background brighter. And the way you do it is playing in manual mode with your light. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Coco's in, hey Coco, she's eating. <laughs> Coco's eating my subject. <laughs> Coco, <laughs> Stop. she's in a feisty mood. Yes, Coco is always in my videos, so be prepared. Uh, okay, let's get this going. That's hilarious. Okay, it's already on manual mode, but let me put it on ETTL and that's basically telling the camera that this is the way it's going that it's going to read through the lamp the flash sorry it's going to read through the flash and it's going to determine how much flash output for these subjects so we'll go ahead and do it it's one to one and you can see i'll show you guys inside but you can see that the background let me go to info is dark the flower looks good, but the background is funky. So, so what you do is you change your mode to manual. Now I've already played around with these. So what I'll do is I'll start with a ratio that I think, and then I'll just maneuver. So right now it's 1 64th on the A light and the B light is between 1 8th and 1 16th power. So I went ahead and pushed it. And now you can see that there is my background. Yes, I wanna show you this is my old camera, that it is not, it is kind of light in here, but if I go to info and look at my histograms, I know that I do have the details in the lights and I can just tone that down. So for me, I know in post-production, I can go ahead and push that down and get those colors back. But that's how you do it. You actually just take it into manual mode and you start playing with your ratios and determine how much light output do you want. So you can get it to work on the subject, but you also would be paying attention to the background. Okay, let's go briefly over what I did. I went ahead and made my manual settings off of my camera. I wanted a certain f-stop so I did that. I put my shutter speed to where I wanted to make sure it was a good exposure and I also 
adjusted by ISO properly. It will depend on your location and the light that is hitting your subject at that moment. Then I went ahead and shot ETTL just to show you that that is basically like shooting your camera in manual mode. Sometimes ETTL will work. This will not work when you get close to your subject. So I went ahead and played with the various ratios to see what would work and looking at my histogram at the same time, making sure that my main subject was not blown out. As always, I have a question for you. Do you use flash? And if you do, how do you work your flash situation? Do you have these problems? And if you do, how do you fix them? Let's chat below and get the conversation going and we all can have these great ideas and making sure that we can light up the background for your macro photographers. The best place to answer your questions is at SullivanJPhotography.com. Leave a comment below and join the conversation. And while you're at it, sign up for my challenge. Once you sign up, you'll receive free textures and an email from me about every other week to inspire you to get up close and personal with your camera. Plus, only subscribers receive the best sales we have to offer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Remember to express your photography. A thousand words does make a difference. I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, helping you get up close and personal with your camera. Have a great day. Cheers. I had fun using my macro ring. My, oh my God, I've done this take three, take three. Should I do this in the end? I'm gonna show this in the end, oh my gosh. Macro ring light, macro ring light. Ma say that four times, five times. So I had fun shooting, I had fun using my, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay.